Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to do about probability. The topic that is about Venn diagram in here. So in this one, I need to set up about A that is about biology, B that is about chemistry, C that is about physics. So in this one, we need to know that there are total 180 students and everyone that need to study at least one course. That means all of the students that should be studied. So about this one, I will put a eight that is about 22 students study about biology b that is about chemistry 21 go in here and c that is about 20 students in here so we need to find this one i will put about d in here so we know that the sum all of the numbers in here should be equals to 180. Now, we sum all the numbers in here to find the value of this one first. And this one, you got about 63 students in here. So A plus B plus C plus D, that is about 117. Now, on the next one, we have 84 students study biology and chemistry. So this is about biology and chemistry in here. So we have A plus D. We just consider about AB in here. So we have A plus D. And this one, that is about 84. The next one, we have 72 students study chemistry and physics. So that is about B and C. So we have D plus B. So in this one, that is about 72 in here. And the last one, we have 81 students study about biology and physics. So that is about D plus C. So we got about 81 in here. Next. If we sum all three equations in here, we have A, B, C, D. Then we have 2D in here. And this number in here, we calculate, and that is about 237 in here. This number, that is about this one in here. So I will put this one, go to the right. And we got 120. Later that we divide both sides by number two. And you got about 60 students in here. So the in this one, that is about 60. This is the end. Thank you for watching.